One of the most mysterious buildings to emerge from medieval Europe, and with some of the most striking architecture for the period, the Leaning Tower of Pisa has captivated the imagination of millions of people around the globe for hundreds of years now, as the seemingly Leaning Tower forever leans in a mischievous way, tantalizing our interest at the outcome and, of course, we wonder what's going on, but there are explanations to be had to the mystery. The Leaning Tower, however, does have some secrets to reveal, and one of the world's biggest architectural mysteries may finally be solved. For years, they have tried to save the masterpiece, and they have slowed the leaning process down somewhat. But another mystery of the tower is the question of the architect. No one knows who the architect of the tower was until now. Wait till you hear this. First off, what is the tower all about? What was it built for, etc.? Well, the Pisa Tower is one of the four buildings that make up the cathedral complex called Campo de Miracoli, which means Field of Miracles. The first building constructed at Campo de Miracoli was the cathedral which rests on a white marble pavement and is an impressive example of Romanesque architecture and this exists next to the baptistery just west of the dome. The Piazza de Miracoli of Pisa is the most splendiferous assemblage of Romanesque architecture in Italy. According to the official website TowerofPisa.org, this is faced in gray and white striped marble and bristling with columns and arches. The cathedral, with its curiously Islamic dome and matching dome baptistery, rises from an emerald green lawn. Flanking one side of the piazza, the cemetery is a gracefully elongated cloister enclosing a burial ground with earth reputedly brought back during the Crusades from Golgotha, the hill where Jesus was crucified, so the noble piazzans could rest in holy ground. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is the piazza's crowning glory, and although only a third as high as the Washington Monument, it was a miracle of medieval engineering and probably the tallest bell towers in Europe when it was finished. The construction of Tower of Pisa began in 1173 and continued for about 200 years, believe it or not. And this was due to the onset of civilization at war. Perhaps for this prolonged period, this may be the reason the architect was unknown. However, this is all about to change thanks to a deciphered inscription on the monument. The inscription has been translated and the Italian scholars who deciphered the marking say that it reads, I who without doubt have erected this marvelous work that is above all others, am the citizen of Pisa by the name of Bonanno. This inscription was found on the cryptic piece of stone that was embedded in the base of the monument and found in 1838 during excavation. But if it took 200 years to build, then when was the inscription added? Until now, the stone was thought to have come from the sarcophagus of a 12th century piazza architect called Bonanno Pisano because it bears his name in Latin. But archaeologists from a very prestigious university in Pisa had managed to decipher a further two lines of the badly damaged inscription, and they think it proves that Pisano was the architect of the world-famous monument. Giorgio Versari raised the question regarding Bonanno Pisano as the architect in the 16th century, and he is a renowned writer best known for his biographies of Renaissance artists and his latest discovery would seem to support Versari's theory. The scholar who made the discovery says the Latin adjective certus expresses all his pride at being the architect. Bonanno erected the tower certain of his great beauty and confident that it would be an incredible monument. An expert in paleography, the study of ancient writing, she said that because the tower suffered engineering problems from the very start, Bonanno's proud inscription may have been unceremoniously dumped. 
aimed all the building's works and detritus at the foot of the tower. Bonanno was also a sculptor and is credited with creating magnificent bronze doors for the Cathedral Monreale in Sicily, as well as bronze doors for Pisa's cathedral. The building of the emblematic bell tower began in 1173, but by the time the third level was finished, it was already tilting badly due to the soft sand and clay that lies beneath its foundations. Despite the pronounced lean, work resumed and it was completed in the second half of the 14th century. Galileo took advantage of its pronounced overhang, dropping objects of different weight from the tops of a way of showing the constancy of gravity. But the tower kept shifting and by the early 1990s, the tilt was more than five degrees from the vertical. Urgent remedial works were carried out in which earth was removed in order to correct the tilt. Steel braces were wrapped around the third story and it was anchored to the ground with steel cables which rectified the lean by an astonishing 20 inches and ensuring many more generations of the majesty of the enigmatic monument. Today the tower stands leaning ever so slightly as one of the great monuments of the world and perhaps answers to who the architect of the Leaning Tower of Pisa is may finally have been answered. But then again, maybe not. But what do you guys think about the latest findings? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.